your dad, your doctor, are your kids immunized? My kids are immunized, and I got them immunized on schedule. You know, I got them all the right immunizations. I looked at the data. I have the luxury, I guess, as a medical reporter of, of learning about this issue from a journalist standpoint. So I looked at these studies, and, you know, one of the things is we don't know for sure what causes autism, but we do know that vaccines do not. And I think that that's a really important thing. And when you vaccinate your child, you're, you're protecting their health, but also protecting the health of other people around them. I got three little kids in my house, you know, yeah. so even when my youngest was not, couldn't be vaccinated yet, she needed to be protected because my older ones were. And, that, and that's part of how vaccines work. How contagious are the measles? Um, I, I, I thought I heard some comment that somebody with the measles could walk in a room and you come in minutes or maybe even longer than that later, yeah. an hour later. Yeah. And what would happen? Well, you're still con you could still be potentially at risk if you're not vaccinated. Isn't that crazy? You know, we talked about Ebola uh, so much this past summer. Ebola, not that contagious. Very hard. You'd have to have direct bodily fluid actually to, to spread the disease. With measles, if you're not vaccinated, you have about a 90% chance of getting infected if you come in contact with someone with measles. So it's really, really contagious. I I'm blown away by the fact that you can walk in a room after that person left. Yeah. You're just and talking, still get you're, it. you're dispensing the virus into the air, you touch surfaces, the virus can live on those surfaces. It's that kind of virus that can live for a long time and subsequently infect more people. So what can it do to you? Um, a lot of us in a certain generation forget what it can do to you because we've been immunized and it wasn't really an issue for us. Right, I know, I mean, me, that, that's the thing. It's, it's, people haven't talked about measles. They haven't talked about smallpox, which was eradicated by, by vaccines, polio. But measles can make you quite sick. It can, it can cause, people think about the rash, that's the, the characteristic rash, but it can also cause this infection in the linings around your brain, around your lungs. People can develop difficulty breathing. They can develop encephalitis. Is this like an encephalitis, meningitis type of exactly. situation? Exactly. It's, it's, it's sort of, it's an infection of the brain or brain lining as a result of this virus. So it's, it's potentially, it makes people really, really sick and it's tough to recover from.